Hey guys, what's up? It's the Shankopotamus. Got another video for you. Haven't done the uh, commentary in a little bit. Actually, um, it's been a long time since I've done the commentary, but um, yeah, I'm rocking my intervention on uh, Skidro. As you can tell by the title, I actually did go flawless in this game. So um, you're not going to be seeing me dying, I guess, at all in this game. Actually, when I entered the game, it was um, it was 600 zero. Already three minutes to pass through the game. And usually when there's a game like that, sometimes I leave, but I decided to just play it out because, I don't know, I just was bored or whatever, and I kind of like Skidro. It's a good um, quick scoping map, I think so. So I did that, and um, yeah, I came out with a flawless score. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. But um, basically, what I've been doing in the last few games, um, or like the last, like the last few weeks or whatever, playing Call of Duty, I've been doing a lot of... Um, like sniping, kind of like, not like what you would think of as a traditional sniper would be like, where you just sit in one area for the whole game and snipe with your claymores. I'm kind of more of like a mobile sniper now. I've been practicing a lot of quick scoping, no scoping, um, like cool ass kill cams. I kind of just been fooling around because I'm honestly bored of doing the whole um, like try hard thing with Call of Duty, trying to um, get like super legit guns, try to get nukes and get really high scores. So I've basically been just um, running around and having some fun with my intervention, which is actually, um, it's a lot of fun actually, but running around with the intervention. Get the uh, attack helicopter, which is actually kind of new for me, because um, before this I've been using the Harriers, but apparently um, the uh, attack helicopter is harder to shoot down. So I called that in, get my pave low, and um, yeah, I'm still down by 200. But um, yeah, my intervention... Um, it's a really good gun, I think, personally. Especially for um, skid draw, it's great for quick scoping, as I said before. And um, yeah, my I have my equipment. I just have a throwing knife, so I can do like last kill stuff. And right now, I pick up the famus with harpy, and it's actually going to help me throughout the course of the rest of this video. Uh, this was my main gun I was using. I actually wasn't using my intervention that much, so that's probably why I ended up getting a flawless score. Because if I was just if I just had my intervention out, oh, there's a lag there, but um, if I just had my intervention, probably. <coughs> I probably would have um, ended up getting myself killed because I flew around a bit. This would be like what I was talking about, one of those overly legit guns that's used to get yourself really high scores. And I just picked it up because I was already already had a really good score and I wanted to see how long I could keep the streak going. And um, ended up uh, keeping the streak going the whole game. Uh, yeah, killed the guy with that fam with the famous there. Um, the heartbeat detachment on here really helped me a lot because in free for all there's people coming at you from all sides. So you really don't know what to like where to look or whatever, and the heartbeat really um helps you out here. They destroy my pave low. I think at this point 800. That's like I got like 16 kills. Sit down. Um, yeah, that's basically it here. Um, got another four minutes left in the round. What I don't like is when you're in a free for all and you don't get to the final score. Like the person who wins or whatever doesn't get to the 1500. That kind of pissed me off. So. I wanted to make sure I got to the, um, even if I got a perfect score, I don't think it'd be as impressive as, um, if I didn't get the whole, the full 1500. So, I wanted to make sure, oh, I got, yeah, see, that's only my 10th kill with the Famous. I really, I hardly use this gun at all, I don't really like it that much, but, um, yeah, so I wanted to make sure I got to 30 kills, so, I just murked around. Um, actually in this game, another, uh, contributor to probably why I did so well was there's a good amount of noobs, as you see, um, that guy's level 33. There's a couple level 15s. I think there was only a few guys that were actually prestiged. Um, when you get into parties like this, it really makes for some um, entertaining gameplay, I guess you could say. Because, I know, everyone likes playing with noobs. Um, the worst is when, though, when you get matched with like really, really, really good people. And then you leave the lobby and you keep getting put back into the same game. Like when you're doing bad and you decide to leave and then the server or whatever decides to put you back into the same game over and over again. But in this case, I wouldn't care if that happened because I had noobs. And, um, yeah, the, a couple games before this, I was in the same game with these same people. And I was just going around quickscope with my intervention. And I had a lot of fun. I don't know if I won every game, but it was still a lot of fun. How and, um, yeah, that's basically it. <clears throat> the Claymore. See, as you can see, he's placing it the wrong way. So, basically, the other team, or the other, um, 
players in this game just got destroyed. Um, another thing I want to talk about, um, the Sniper 43. It's um, a friend of mine, well actually not, he's not a friend of mine, but um, it's my little brother. And he decided to start a YouTube channel. And he made his own account on my PlayStation, and he's called the Sniper 43. Uh, he was just about to upload a video today. So if you want to check him out, I'm sure you'd appreciate it. I don't know. Um, he's not. He hasn't really. Um, when he plays on my account, he usually is the one that lowers my KD. But um, he hopes to. Um, he's, he thinks he's going to be able to uh, get legit, and um, he's going to try to get more subscribers than me. So we're in a little bit of a um, brotherly competition right now to get subscribers. So, but um, yeah, you guys can check him out if you want and um, see what you think of him. So right now I got to 1300 and I'm actually starting to get really nervous now because I'm not sure if I'm going to get the flawless score because if I died now I'd probably throw the controller into someone's, uh, into their, into their head, yeah, headshot, headshot someone with the controller. And I don't know how that guy didn't kill me, but I got out of that situation and I need three more kills now for the win. Um, pretty sure my hands are shaking at this point because... I mean, who would want to see a video where I go 27-0 and 0, then die and then get the last three kills? I just think that would be stupid. Um, I kind of compare what I was doing in this game to that of, um, kind of like what C-Nanners does. He does a little, um, is, um, like a little really laid-back style. He's not actually going out and, like, trying to kill people, like, non-stop, like, which is kind of dumb, actually. I'm, I'm just, um, I'm playing kind of smart. I'm going along the edges of the map, picking people off left and right. And um, it seems to work really well, and it's, um, it's a great way to get uh, good scores in a game. Alright, so one more kill now. Using my heartbeat, scope a guy out. Where is he? Oh, he's right below me. Alright, so that is the end of my video, guys. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Check out um, the Sniper 43, and I will see you next time. Peace.